Did Pepsi really have the sixth largest navy? Truly one of the most unique stories of the Cold War, the soft drink empire of Pepsi really did have one of the largest navies in the world. Commonly referred to as the kitchen debate, Richard Nixon and Khrushchev would meet in Moscow to debate the benefits of their respective systems of government. At the plea of the Pepsi CEO, Nixon would introduce Khrushchev to the delights of the sugary beverage. A love at first taste, Pepsi would be accepted as the first US company to ever sell in the USSR. However, Pepsi would instead exchange their soft drinks for the hard liquor of Soviet Russia, vodka. Unfortunately for the USSR, this vodka exchange would fall apart from the US boycott of Soviet products in 1980. Not willing to sacrifice their Pepsi addiction, a new deal would be hatched. Agreed in 1989, the USSR would swap 17 submarines and three warships for Pepsi to maintain production. Though PepsiCo quickly traded their Navy fleet for scrap metal and insane profits, it was regularly joked they were dismantling the USSR faster than the US government. 